what's poppin guys welcome back to my channel so today i'm going to be showing you how i get my no makeup makeup look which is pretty much just natural makeup and i always make sure to incorporate a little bit of skincare so i'm going to be showing you guys some of that today but yeah let's go ahead and get into it so before applying any makeup, I always like to do a little bit of skincare just because I like for my skin to feel really clean and refreshed and also it's really important to have a smooth and clean base before applying makeup because that's just going to ensure that your makeup stays smooth and radiant throughout the day. So I definitely recommend doing a little bit of skincare. So the first thing I do is cleanse my face and I use the Aveeno Clear Complexion Foaming Cleanser. This is my favorite cleanser at the moment. So all I do is I wet my my face and I put on the cleanser and I rub it into my skin for a good minute to make sure my face is really clean after that I always like to use a mask I think face masks are so cute and a great way to hydrate your skin and your girl is always trying out new ones so shout out to masquerade for these really cute face masks so these first two masks are mini sheet masks. This is their Sweet Retreat mini sheet masks and I think these are so adorable. They're like little cupcakes, cookies, and stuff like that. So this mask is meant to smooth and moisturize the skin. You apply the masks to the specific areas on your face and body that you want and you leave them on for 10 to 20 minutes. Then afterwards you can remove them and massage any excess serum into the skin. These are the Crystal Clear Mini Sheet Masks and it's the same application as the first one but these masks are meant to brighten and clarify the skin and they're cute little crystals so I think they're really cool. This mess mask, mask. <laughs> this next mask, I cannot talk today, <laughs> is their Bubble Bubble Pop charcoal bubble sheet mask and i think this mask is so cool because you put it on your face and you can watch as the bubbles form so this is a purifying and deep cleaning mask so before opening it you rub the packet for a few seconds to activate the bubbles Ooh. then you put on the mask and leave it on for five to ten minutes and you watch the bubbles form and afterwards you just remove it and massage any of the bubble foam onto the skin for an extra cleansing boost i think this is so cool i don't know if it's just me this next mask would have to be my favorite which is their rose all day rose gold peel off mask hello it's rose gold y'all know i love rose gold <laughs> but um this is a luminizing and refining mask so you apply an even layer onto the skin and you leave it on for 15 to 20 minutes until the mask is completely dried and you can go ahead and peel it off and reveal your new skin. <laughs> Y'all don't understand how good and soft my skin feels right now. I really like those masks and I definitely recommend them. But yeah guys, those are some really cute masks and you can use my code to get 20% off on all products on the Masquerade website. So I'll leave the link down below so you can check it out. So after I've done a mask, I always moisturize my skin. And my favorite moisturizer at the moment is the Glam Glow Glow Starter Mega Illuminating Moisturizer. That's a lot. <laughs> but this is my favorite right now because it smells really good and it moisturizes my skin really nicely. And it has a little bit of a shimmer to it, so I like that. So now I'm going to go ahead and start with the makeup. So first I'm going to do my eyebrows and I'm going to use my Maybelline Brow Precise Micro Pencil and this is in the shade Dark Brown. So I'm going to go ahead and put this on. So since I'm going for a really natural look, I'm just going to make really small hair-like strokes through my eyebrows. I'm not going to make any harsh lines or anything like that. I think I got mixed personalities. Y'all, I've been listening to YNW Melly a lot lately. I don't know what's going on, but that's what's going on. <laughs> okay, so now I'm going to conceal my eyebrows just a little bit. I usually do a lot, but for this natural look, I never do. I always do it really lightly. So I'm going to be taking my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer, and this is in the shade Sand. And I'm going to take my Morphe B75 brush, and I'm going to use this 
to conceal you know what i'm talking about you know what i'm talking about so i'm gonna take the wand and put some on my brush just a little bit Okay, so now that I'm done with my eyebrows, I'm going to go ahead and put on concealer. I'm going to be skipping the foundation because obviously we want to be as light as possible. So I'm just going to be putting the concealer under my eyes, kind of like in the inner corner of my eyes like this, because I do tend to get a lot of darkness in that area. And I'm going to put it on the other side. And I'm going to be using my Real Tex Techniques my real techniques sponge and i'm gonna blend this out so as you can see that gave me a little bit of brightness under the eyes now i'm gonna apply powder to the rest of my face and this is just gonna give me a little bit of coverage so I'm going to be taking my Maybelline Superstay Better Skin Skin Transforming Powder and this, if you guys can see it, this is in the shade Nude Beige. So I'm going to go ahead and apply this with a big fluffy brush. And I'm going to be applying this in circular motions to really buff it into the skin. Now to bronze my face, I'm going to be using the Wet n Wild Color Icon Bronzer in the shade Palm Beach Ready. Now this is a bronzer shade that's a lot lighter than what I would usually use for like a glam look. But since I am going for a natural look, I'm definitely calming it down with the dark bronzer. So I'm going to go ahead and apply this. Now for blush, I have been using the Milani Luminoso blush since literally when I started doing my makeup and I love it. The formula is so good and I love this shade, but I wanted to try out a new shade today. I know the formula is bomb, so we're good with that, but um, I picked this shade up. It's called Dolce Pink, so I'm going to go ahead and try this out. <sighs> guys it's so pretty i'm gonna take my blush brush and apply this Bitch. for highlighter i'm gonna be using the maybelline master chrome metallic highlighter and this is in the shade molten gold so i'm gonna be taking my morphe m501 brush to apply this when I'm applying highlighter, I always use circular motions because if you try going like this up and down, you're going to end up with a streaky mess. It's just going to look like one big ugly line and we don't want that. So, yeah. I'm not going to put too much, but I kind of already did. <laughs> I just love highlighter. I'm sorry. So basically, I'm just going to apply highlighter to all the places where the sun would naturally hit, like the tip of the nose, the brow bone, the forehead, and right here. Now, for my eyelashes, I personally like to put on a little bit of mascara, but if you're going for a really natural look, then you don't even have to bother with the mascara. But I'm going to be using the L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara in Black. Now for my lips, I'm just going to be applying a lip gloss that is really similar to my natural lip color. So I'm going to be using the e.l.f. Lip Plumping Gloss and this is in the shade Mocha Twist. So when it comes to your lips, I definitely recommend using a lip gloss that has a little bit of color but that's similar to your natural lip color because it's just going to enhance your lips but still look natural, if that makes sense. And finally, to set my face, I'm going to be using my NYX Dewy Finish Setting Spray. 
And this is the completed look. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and click the notification bell to be notified whenever I upload a video. I'll have my social medias linked down below so you guys can check them out. And also, I've been wanting to do a Q&A, so definitely leave me some questions down below so I can answer them for you guys. I'll see you guys in my next one.